Are you familiar with Shrek Fest? And I think the slogan for it is Shrek is love, Shrek is life. We have mushroom festivals every year. We also celebrate Bigfoot. We celebrate Sasquatch and Bigfoot just about everywhere in the Northwest. Here in Virginia, we celebrate the Wood Booger Festival, this Bigfoot, hairy, humanoid animal that lives in the woods. They celebrate the Flatwoods Monster. They thought it might have been an alien. A strange thing Florida celebrates would be oranges. I remember going to a parade just about oranges. I, I think there's Watermelon Festival, if that counts. We have a Peach Festival. Apple Festival every fall. A barbecue? There's a lot of barbecue festivals. That would be a tie between the Maple Fest and the Dairy Fest. Also the Naked Bike Ride. The strangest thing we celebrate is that no pants thing in the subway. Like. Basically, people go down there, they're not wearing pants, and they get really liberal with it. Sometimes they're not wearing anything. I don't know why you would want to go down there without any pants. Strangest thing I think that California celebrates is Fiesta here in Santa Barbara, where I call it Viva La Fiasco. Throughout the summer, I call it First Fridays, downtown Phoenix, they block all the roads, there's live bands. Minnesota State Fair. So we'd have the St. Rocco's Feast every summer. We'd all show up, eat a bunch of food, ride a bunch of rides, all for Jesus. A chalk art festival on the sidewalks of downtown with lots of beautiful chalk artists. There's a small town in like southeastern South Dakota. So they do a musical, a different musical every year and it's this tiny little town and their musicals are al always like really impressive. It's just a small town full of very talented musical theater artists. I think the weirdest thing we celebrate is pimento cheese. I gotta say, I love it. I do, I'll throw it on some fries, I'll put it on a sandwich, but to celebrate it, to elevate it, seems a little weird. Groundhog Day, that's in uh, Puxatawney, I think. Most people don't think it's that weird, but I think it's weird to celebrate St. Patrick's Day because I don't get the point, but it's a really big thing in Connecticut. The Toad Suck Festival that takes place in Toad Suck, Arkansas, and I have heard that they race toads. North Dakota celebrates Scandinavian heritage with the nation's largest Norwegian cultural festival called the Norsk Hostfest. So the equinox, it's like tremendous changes in our sun. It marks our shortest day of the year and our longest day of the year. May Day. Kids go around and leave May Day baskets on their neighbors' porches and stuff, and they're just full of like sweet little candies and treats and stuff. So it kind of has Easter vibes, but it's on May 1st. Our way of celebrating um, kind of the beginning of Lent and Fat Tuesday is we have a pancake race. Literally a race where somebody carries a, a pancake in a skillet. Dingus Day is the day after Lent is over and you take off work, you eat food, and all the politicians go around campaigning. A river festival in Boise area and it's literally just celebrating rivers and water and nature. On the Ohio River, there are these classic river boats, they call them tall stacks, and there's a tall stack festival. When gambling was made illegal in Cincinnati, you would have to go out onto the boat to get your gambling done. If there is something that we celebrate, it's definitely a seafood festival of some sort, or the Super Bowl. NASCAR or like sports. Not strange to us, obviously it's Mardi Gras, but there's a lot of weird ways that it's celebrated, like outside of New Orleans. Chase chickens on horseback and Mamou and do weird stuff like that. Like Mobile, Alabama, you will find a lot of Mardi Gras happening. People in Hawaii really love to celebrate Chinese New Year. Whenever there's a Chinese New Year thing, you hear like fireworks all over the island. There's this like little battle in the Revolutionary War that didn't happen. And every time you drive past it, there's a sign called like Cooch's Bridge. And so sometimes they do like this reenactment there where like they just dress up as soldiers about to fight, but then they don't actually fight because there was no battle that like actually happened there. Pioneer Day and just kind of like celebrating the pioneers coming to Utah pretty much. Frontier Days, the days to celebrate um, being a cowboy. Um, they do a lot of rodeos. Texans celebrate Go Texas Day, which is a super cute holiday. People dress up in their best cowboy gear and in Houston, it's the day that the rodeo comes to town. I think an unusual thing that Illinois celebrates is Pulaski Day, as he helped 
uh, liberate the states from uh, England. Bastille Day. Bastille Day is actually a holiday in um, Augusta, Maine, for sure, the capital. Um, again, because of that French influence, we actually celebrate Bastille Day. Like the second Tuesday of April, it's uh, a, it's Patriots Day. I don't think any other state has that. I guess some people genuinely do celebrate like Daniel Boone's birthday. One thing I would have to say is we celebrate putting out fireworks for any type of reason. The fact that we are allowed to set off fireworks at any time during the year. Huge thing that New Mexico celebrates is Zozabra. It comes once a year and it's like this big doll that is really about 50, 60 feet tall. We started on fire and let all the bad spirits go from our state. On New Year's in some rural town out near Charlotte, uh, there they do a possum drop. Instead of like the ball dropping at midnight, it's a, it's a possum in a cage. We celebrate Nevada Day, which is the um, acceptance, acceptance into the union, but it's on Halloween. So we always had that day off and moving out of, out of Nevada, I never realized that not everyone had Halloween off. We celebrate Halloween by when you trick or treat, you have to tell a joke. I think Nebraskans just really celebrate life on a daily basis. If people want to celebrate like St. Patrick's Day, they'll go to New York. Or if they want to celebrate like Thanksgiving and with a parade, they'll go to New York. Nobody's like, hey, like, <laughs> look at us. <laughs> There's just none of that.